Hey everyone, Mr. Happy here, and in this video we're going to be checking out the Trials of Mana demo that just came out today on March 18th, 2020. I am playing this on Steam with a PS4 controller plugged in, but I believe the demo is also available on PlayStation 4 and Switch as well. Now, I'm not an expert of the Mana or Mana series. Uh, I've played a few of the games sparingly. I don't think I've ever finished one all the way through. Not for lack of trying, it just... It was never the right time for me. So I'm going to be flying into this pretty blind. I'm not an expert, you know, not really any set expectations for how this one's going to be compared to the Super Nintendo one uh, all those years ago. And so uh, I'm happy to just look into it. I'm not really sure if 4 is the right volume for this video for the BGM. I think I'll turn the character voices up by 1 just so they're a little bit louder than the background music in case there's any balancing issues. Hopefully not. Everything else here seems pretty standard. Camera, text speed... Auto progression. Not a big fan of auto progression for text. Uh, it says speed though. Maybe that'll be okay. Battle animations, rotate minimap, definitely off. I'm glad that's off by default. Um, I did take the time specifically to find this. I do play windowed 1920 by 1080. It was full screen by default. In case you're wondering, the other display ratios. There's a 1440p as well as the good old 720, and those are the three. I've for some reason I thought there would be more. And those are the three. There's also max frame rate. Uh, you can set it all the way up to 120. I'm only recording this in 60 FPS, so that's what I will play it in. Okay, let's save our settings and let's hop into a game. So I watched the trailer. Oh, uh, uh, that looks that looks fine to me. Um, ooh, beginner, easy, normal, hard. I mean, I've played a lot of games like that are kind of like this, but I'm going with hard. It says you. It said at the bottom that you could change it in the playthrough if you actually wanted to and it doesn't affect the story anyway so it should be fine so when i watch the trailer it says you could pick uh three people out of a possible six to do the story with and that apparently it would be a little bit different the story depending on what character you pick i'd assume that's mostly in the intro since they all have these detailed backstories and looks like they have some different home nations in the background here so I'm not really sure who I want to pick. I read like a brief explanation of each of them and they have a brief bio and like weapon choice here and their home and their different grading for the part at the bottom. Um, Kevin uses fist weapons. Uh, he also has a nighttime transformation. So he's, I guess he's a little bit stronger at nighttime. Um, he's a fit. He's, he's a puncher. You know, I, I feel like I got to use him. Also, his name's Kevin. Kevin. Of all things, we've got Angela. We've got Durin. We've got Charlotte. You know, these are actually other than then you've got Hawkeye and Reese. But Kevin? Like the minion? We're going with Kevin. Uh, so it says that his father is a king of beastmen, but his missing mother is a human woman. Kevin's father raised him to be a fighting machine, which affected his social skills. He is unused to conversing with humans, which can make him hard to understand. The ice around the young boy's heart only began to melt after he met making friends with Carl the Wolf Pup. Carl and Kevin. Carl with a K at that. Interesting duo of names. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go with Kevin. That's me. So we also get to pick, yes, it is you, Kevin. Thank you. We also get to pick two companions. So I quickly, I briefly looked. Charlotte being a healing and support magic user makes me like automatically want to take them. And then you have finding items, dude. Not. I'm. I feel like I'm gonna regret not having him. But I just I don't know. I'm not that interested in in having Hawkeye. Like, Reese is cool. A, I really like spears. If I had to pick a second option to fist weapons and, like, single-player RPGs, spears are usually, uh... Spears or pole arms are usually kind of second choice for me. Um, range attacks and support magics and summon. So I feel like Reese is, like, an easy choice for me, personally. And then for the third one, Durin... I have no interest in bringing Durin with me. Angela is, a, is another caster. She's got a lot of AoE and wands. Um, but, man, I'm just I'm so torn on whether or not I want to bring... Hawkeye, finding items is always so useful. You know, maybe I do multiple playthroughs, assuming because this will be after Seven Remake comes out, so I might have time for that. I think I'll, I think I'll run with Hawkeye, only because I'm hoping that the support magics from Reese are going to be enough, and I just really, really want better item luck. Why? I hope I don't regret this, but I'm going to go with Hawkeye. All right, they did also mention there was like a class change option. In the trailer, so maybe maybe if he doesn't pan out as the speedy fighter early, maybe I can change him into something a little bit different later. But yeah, this is what we're gonna go with. Uh, this is gonna be our party for the story. Silver and gold mana statues. Interact with silver mana statues to save your game. Gold mana statues will restore your HP and MP as well. Save your game. Ooh, it said there was a secret one. Persecuted by humankind, 
beastmen. This feels like it's a little low. Live a life of seclusion in the dark woods of Duskmoon Forest. Ooh. Only one managed to stand up against the oppression. He became king. Under his rule, the beastmen banded together and created the kingdom of Ferolia. There, he and his kin waited for a chance to get revenge on the humans who drove them into hiding. <laughs> well, 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 isn't his furry majesty himself? How do you do this fine, fine? Night? I don't trust jesters. <laughs> my thought, my thoughts precisely, King. Ah, finally, the time is upon us, sire. With the coming shift of the world's mana power, now is the perfect opportunity for what? For us all to get back at those nasty humans. <laughs> Do I know you? Oh, if you don't know him, don't trust him. He knows too much already. They call me Gormand, Death Devourer. Our goals are the same, for I hate humankind as much as you do. May I offer you some unsolicited help? Dude, I learned not to trust Jesters in Devil May Cry 3. Don't take him up. Don't take him up on the offer. Trust me, it doesn't lead to good things. Outsiders and help are unwelcome. Be gone. <laughs> no, 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 wait, wait, wait. I'll leave, but if you change your mind, my dark spells are always at your service. Nope. <laughs> Pass. Wait. I'll give you one chance. That is a poor decision. <laughs> I shan't waste it. Now then. Tell me what you would have me do, and consider it done, your majesty. <laughs> That's got bad news written all over. That dude is definitely the main villain. He knew way too much about what was about to happen. Kevin was the one and only Kevin. son of Ferolia's king. The young boy's human mother had long since abandoned her half-blood child, leaving him to be raised in the forest by the Beastmen. Due to his Spartan upbringing, Kevin never connected with others. He was raised as his father's successor and trained to fight from infancy, leaving little time for friendships. One night, the young prince came across a slain mother wolf and her living pup, Carl. Finding a true friend in the affectionate wolf, the boy's frozen heart began to thaw. Dude, Carl and Kevin, we're gonna rule the world. We're gonna rule the world together. <laughs> oh, he's so happy. Hey, sleep good? Huh? Carl? <laughs> that sounded like they Googled <laughs> like they Googled dogs barking. What was that yip, Carl? Tiny, but still a wolf. Don't bark like a dog. Here, howl like this. They did. They straight up. That's thriller. That's thriller. We're like you and me. A little wolf who acts like a dog. A beast man with human blood in my veins. And neither of us. Why you got? Kevin, why you gotta? You see, he's sad. Don't I'm worry. sad. Come on. Carl, got you, and I'll protect you since your mom can't. <sighs> Listen, I understand you don't. Come on. What? That was not a wolf. That was an arf arf. Kevin, stop. Don't be. It's making me sad. What's wrong? Dude, he smells that jester. I'd, I'd growl too. As a person. I don't want to fight Carl. No, Carl. Can't fight 
you. Won't fight you. All right, so, well, B doesn't. I'm using a PS4 controller. Uh, okay, that was circle. I'm trying to remember where it is because I think those are Xbox controls. Why? Wait, no, those are. That's the SNES controller. Does the Xbox have the same layout? <laughs> I haven't used an Xbox controller in ages. I mean, it makes sense, I suppose. I would like it to display my PS4 controllers, though. Build up. Boom! Collect particles to increase your CS gauge. That allows me to use a class strike with L1, or left bumper, I should say, I guess. And, uh, well, X in this case. Phenomenal fist! Alright, that was pretty cool. Um, I don't know why I had to beat Carl so bad. Carl, are you done? Nope. It wants me to finish Carl off. Stop making me punch Carl. Stop. What are you doing? Carl! Stop! Body's he's moving on its own. Ooh, is that my transformation? I'm a werewolf. I mean, I figured it's a nighttime transformation. You're gonna make me beat him even worse? Oh, don't tell me I killed Carl! No! I can't deal with this. I, you just established that I love Carl. Okay, well, he's hurt. But he's, he's not dead, right? Well, it's okay. He attacked us, but like, he's no. fine, right? No, no, Carl, Carl! Are you kidding? How did this happen? We just ki He's dead. You can't start the game like this. He's dead. We just buried him. I was just getting what? Unable to resist his beast man instincts, the boy transformed and attacked his only friend. Kevin made a grave by the flower patch they'd often visited. Racked with guilt, there he wept for his lost friend. So... So sorry, Carl. I'm sorry. Why, why do we have to kill him? Why did he even attack us? I was ready for Kevin and Carl to rule the world! Afterwards, Kevin didn't know how long he wandered the forest. Eventually, however, he made it back to the palace. But nothing was the same. Carl... couldn't protect my friend. I couldn't... stop... myself. Beast man blood. Awakened. But why did I transform? Why? Why now? Dude, I'm I'm mad. King might know something. I'm mad. King better know something. You're not the king, obviously. You don't look so good. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. Ooh, we got a treasure chest. Should probably look around. All this stuff actually carries over to the full game. A cup of wishes. Revive a fainted out. Can I use it on Carl? Don't don't make me kill the dog and then give me an item that lets me resurrect allies. Come on now, game. What is this? I'm mad. I'm real. I'm mad. We know how to handle fire. Something in the keep. Okay. We'll probably end up going to there. Yeah, sure. I want my friend back. Alright. Just gonna block my way for no reason, huh? Is there an item in back here? I mean, there had to be, right? An item seed. Recovers all allies. Good name. <laughs> it's the item seed, of course. There was a thing in the trailer where you could, like, plant seeds in, uh... 
in like a pot and then they could like hatch into items it looks like oh i can't go to the save point yet it's marked on my mini map but i can't go there yet it's blocked by that other guy oh good a cat meow good i miss carl thanks for reminding me that i that my dog is dead i'm gonna carry that against this game the entire i'm mad i started as kevin you can't just start the game by killing the damn dog. You can't do it. I didn't even get a chance to pet the dog yet. There's the king. I'm mad. All right. And then this is a gold one. Save our game. That way Carl can never come back. Yeah, I got it. Cool. All right, dad. Fix this. No, oh, you're not my dad. Beastmen forces are hereby sent out to take over human settlements. Our first target is the holy city, Wendell. How's it go? Major first target. Now's our chance to pay back the humans for what they've done. Once we take their precious holy city. We'll have already dealt a serious blow to those weaklings. They'll be shaking in their boots. Yeah. Okay, there was only one guy said yeah. Man. <laughs> All of them raised their hand and the guy's like, no, no one else, only me? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, where the where is the jester from Devil May Cry 3? Huh. Listen up, Kevin. We'll be taking Jad. Then it's straight to Wendell. You hear that, Princeling? <laughs> Your old man picked me to lead the Beastmen to victory. He trusts me with his invasion plan, not you. How does it feel to be a waste of space, huh? <laughs> what the? Dude, hey, I, no wonder the humans drove these, these dudes out. I'm one of them and I don't like them. What the hell was the point of that? Hey, I'm my dad likes me who's not blood better than you. What do who what who cares? I don't like any of them. I've got a dead dog. The dude leading the army's an asshole. If my dad hates me too, it's gonna be the trifecta. Where's my dad? It is it is strange. Do you guys like me? Grr. I'll take that as a... Okay, Aru. Aru is definitely more of an I love you. I was gonna say, if even the dogs don't like me, I'm gonna be... Like, what's... What even... Why even be here? I'm just gonna save the world. I don't wanna save any of these people. Huh? Uh, I... Hear something through the wall. I know that voice. Well done, Gormand. <laughs> it's an honor to fulfill the wishes of the king. Tell me, were you impressed by my dark magic, then? <laughs> Corrupting the will of a tiny oh. child. Oh, my son is child's blood. Oh, no. No matter. It induced Kevin's transformation as planned. Nope. Nope. With no more attachments to keep him from training, my son will become a weapon. I have no more need of you. Leave. Wait, what? Uh, uh, be reasonable, your majesty. Now I'm even more pissed. Can we go beat my dad? I think the answer is yes. Okay, now I'm glad I started as Kevin. He gets. He just stop right there, Howard. Yes. Use that hatred I see in your eye. Bend it to your will and let it fuel your beastman power. <laughs> Never lose it. Oh! He open hand clawed me. No, I gotta. You called yourself no. Death Devourer, did you not? Oh, 
Oh, yes, indeed, your majesty. <laughs> I leave my son to you. Excuse me? What is this place? Understood, sire. I don't... I'm just... I'm so... I'm back at my dog? Are you kidding me? I landed all the way... I'm losing my mind. Yeah, return to... Holy crap! How far did he knock me? Yo, I gotta go kick dad's butt. That's... There's no way around it. I have to go kick his butt. Also, item... All right, so the minimap's good. Yeah, I'm glad I have rotate minimap off, because that would be super annoying. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, I like that. It's super seamless. Repel attack. Wow, yeah, that's... I really like that. All right, there we go. EX... Oh, okay, and you get EXP chains for defeating enemies within quick succession of one another. Okay. I wonder what the respawns are like on enemies then. Because, uh... Oh, can I not go through here? Come on, seriously? That's where the item is, by the way. That is where the item is. I wonder how quick the respawns are on enemies. Like, is it per region? Is it, like, distance-based? Uh, going back the old way doesn't seem to trigger anything. Wait. Wait. Carl? You look like Carl. Carl? Carl? Nope, just a regular dog. You can be my new Carl. I was so excited. I thought I was making a new friend. Nope. Just another 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 dead dog. Okay, no, they do respawn. I wonder if that was just timed or if that was distance based. I think it was just Oh yeah, no, that's definitely dis I wonder if it's like if I turn my camera. I kinda wanna just find out real quick. Oh man, yeah, that's right. It's nighttime, so I'm transformed. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. You also get bonuses for winning with class strikes. Alright, so there's all sorts of EXP bonuses you get depending on how quickly you can fight enemies in quick succession. And also, the controls are smooth. Thankfully. I'm always worried about action games feeling kind of stiff. Not this one. This one goes pretty quick. There we go. I just like how seamlessly it goes between combat and everything else. Like, it doesn't... Even though it says begin battle, it never really feels like I'm going from not being in a battle to being in a battle. Which is how it, it should be. But, you know, sometimes RPGs like to get... Even, uh, even action-based ones like to really ham up the start of battle. I'm glad they skip the theatrics and get me right into the random encounters. It also does have, like, a wall. I guess that's the one thing that battle signifies, is there is, like, the edge of the arena. I'd assume that if I ran... In fact, let me test that. Let me see if I can find an enemy real quick. I'd assume if I just ran into the edge of that wall, it would probably be the equivalent of me running from a battle. Yeah, okay, so there's a run time. I wonder if you can fail the escape. You probably can. Alright, let's just defeat a couple more. Oh my goodness. He hits so hard at night. And also without taking damage. Okay. Hey, you. Oh, you're just gonna walk away slowly, huh? You. What did you do to Carl? Give him back! Give him back! <laughs> oh, spare me! I was merely following his majesty, the king of Ferolia's orders. Nope. Ah, wait, 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 wait. I've come to you with an offer. Wouldn't you like to know how to bring your little Carl back to life? Huh? Shh, 
He's full of it. Rolian forces are on their way to Windor as we speak. You need to find the priest of light who lives there. Why? Because he knows how to bring back the dead. You lie. I agree. Now, does this look like the face of a liar? You cannot. Yes. Lucas yes, it does. Have already left. If you dally, they may do away with the priest before you arrive. Where's Wendell? Where? <laughs> it's this way, Your Highness. Okay, can I do that with the other one then? Now, you must make for Mintus. It's just outside the Dusk Moon Forest. And from there, you can cross the sea to the city of Jad. Wendell is quite close to that location. Just kill him. Just kill him right now. So don't dodge, or Ludger will have complete control of Wendell before you even arrive. Understand? Try to stay out of sight. Okay? In fact, I shouldn't be seen here with you either. I'll take my leave. Goodbye and good luck, young prince. Yo, give me the option to turn around and smack him in the face. He's the main villain. He has to be. Carl. Wait for me. Priest of Light and Wendell will tell me how to bring you back. Still my best friend. Carl, that coward is no father. He must be the reason. Mom left me behind. Is she alive? I want to see her. Yeah, she's probably alive. I don't know why I'm saying that after I just killed my dog. Like, I have any faith that things will go the way I Kevin want them to. burned with hatred for his father and shame for the feral blood in his veins that made him deliver the final misguided blow to his only friend. As the Ferolian troops left the castle, the young prince was hot on their heels. He had to get to Wendell and ask the Priest of Light to bring Carl back to life. Oh, he's a hell of a swimmer. I thought that I thought these people hated the beastmen. What are you doing? Do you know what do you feel bad now? Huh? Now you feel bad? Hey look, it's the start of uh, Final Fantasy X. Let Ludger be my first boss, please. He, I don't like him anyway. <laughs> He's so fast. He's faster than the boat is. Okay, I will admit, he's fast, but the water behind him makes him look way faster than he's going. It's got a lot of charm to it early, and it plays super smooth. I'm happy with it so far. I'm glad it comes out, like, a couple weeks after 7 Remake. So I don't really have to make a decision. I can just roll right from that into this. I'm gonna be inside for the most part for the next month anyway. have taken the town and closed the docks. Now my ship's stuck in the harbor until who knows when. Let's uh let's go kick Ludger's butt, please. Too many guards. Can't let Beastmen find me, but I have to go to Windle. They sure oh. do. Can I just kick their butts? What? Uh, Kevin, is that you? 
What are you doing here? Oh, I see. You're on a secret mission. For the yeah, <laughs> that's it. Don't worry, I won't say nothing. Yeah, that's that's it. I'm glad you understand. That's exactly what I'm doing here. All right, so can you break any of these boxes or anything? Okay, no. I just wanted to make sure because all these boxes look extra breakable. And then we can jump. Yeah, sorry, I'm still getting used to the controls. Alright, so X is pick up item and jump, but the range we're picking up the item is pretty large. So that's good. I'm always worried whenever a game has jump and uh, jump and pick up item on the same button. That, those I can break. Those I remember being able to break. I can think of uh, one in particular. We got a weapon shop here. What the heck? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, so you're fresh out of weapons. That's no good. Hey, it's Durin. Oh, What's up, break. man? What kind of weapon shop doesn't sell weapons? If this is a joke, I ain't laughing. But come on, these beast guys are reaching for a fight. Uh, not sure if I can beat them all on my own. Even if I had more weapons. Ow, oh, a headache. I guess that's just to tease the other characters being in. Like, a, does that? Can I continue that conversation at all? No, he just ends that conversation. It's just teasing the other characters in the world. I'm supposing that if I had started as Durin, I'd be dealing with... I don't, I don't remember Durin's starting nation. But if it was here, then I'd imagine that that would have been among the first things I had to deal with was the Ferolians attacking here. <laughs> I don't know why that took me eight years to say, but you know. Uh, okay, so we've got a guy up there. I'm just exploring around to make sure I don't miss anything. So that goes up there. Uh, there's another NPC. I got another item over here. I'd assume that this is also the same. This is the inn room. This is the uh, the inn. And then this is, so yeah, this is the, the pot that I mentioned earlier. So you can plant items to grow seeds. If I plant an item seed, is it instant? It becomes candy. Oh, and you level it up, too, so I'd imagine it can, like, be better. I'd imagine it's a little bit of a gamble, whatever you get out of it. Oh, wow, that's way better than using... Although, uh, that is... One of these are... AoE, although that's a lot. I have 200, 500, did I only have 100 health? Let me plant the other item seed. Mando Icon. Okay, interesting. And what does that do? Deals fire magic. Okay, we'll probably just use that in the boss fight. Oh, it's just chilling. Oh, it's Angela. Well, you're supposed to. I'm supposed to recruit you, so you're supposed to join my adventure. Hey, what is wrong with you? Could you give a girl some peace and quiet? Back off. Oh, dude! Last time something hit me, I turned into a beastman. Lucky for you, it's not nighttime. Wow, she goes back to sleep quick. Granted, she did just slap me in the face. Well, I mean, you're going to be my companion later. It's gonna work out that way. <laughs> Keep turning the corner and forget that he's just dancing. What's he so excited about? No one can even come to his, his inn right now. With the beastman in town. Chocolate! I mean, I had chocolate already, but, you know. Chocolate. All right, nothing over there. Oh, look at that. There's some items on the roof. Can I make that from here? Oh, I sure can. All right, we've already... It's literally... We're in the first place that's, like, explorable, and I've already been lost to the... I must explore every nook and cranny, especially considering... Oh, there's another one. Especially considering how many places I can jump and access. Like, of course I'm going to do this. A magic rope. I'd imagine that's for escaping. Hello, Ludger. What do you mean? He looked right at me. There's, he's not surprised by me being here. Where'd they go? Was that Kevin? Uh, must be seeing things. Hey, is that a potion shop? They got a menu. Oh, 
close one. I guess we stay away from Ludger. Going anywhere near him probably just triggers that over and over again. Uh, okay, let's take a peek around then. I, yep, this is ingredients and like I see onions and stuff. Anything else? I mean, you probably can't sell me anything yet, but oh, maybe you can. Oh, did you look at that? Yes, you can. Fairy Walnut allies MP by 50, status effects, returns party to the entrance of the dungeon, and a cup of wishes to resurrect. Okay, the one shop that can sell me something, but I'm too dirt poor to afford much. We need to transform a couple of our item seeds. So let's go around. As long as we avoid him. That's where the actual story continues. We gotta look around a little bit first. Hey, there we go. Another candy. That's back down that way. Uh, I mean, I can jump up here, but there's... Oh, there we go. That's more money. I mean, that's all the money I've been able to collect is the money that I've just been finding. Nothing on this rooftop. Okay, looks like we're good to actually continue the story. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep. I almost missed that. That blends in real well for me. Dude, I'm going to be spending so much time trying to explore. And some more candy. And five people just leave candy all over the place. Alright, so there's the innkeep. I see Hawkeye here. So I'd imagine he's going to join my party here. So any items up here? Oh, there's Reese. Pardon me. My younger brother is missing, and I must find him as soon as possible. Have you perchance seen a little lost boy around here? Yes. Really? Where? Where did you see him? Over oh, there. To me. How terrible. Listen, but I was thinking maybe you'd join me. This was an attempt to cheer me up in your own way. Sure. So, I thank you. Well, you're going to be joining me on my adventure. So, you have no choice in the matter. What about you? This town has got up in a war it never wanted. It's the same story everywhere you go in the world these days. Like my homeland. What on earth is going on? What in mana is happening? Beasts and Ferolia look like humans during the day, but at night they transform into animals. I sure do. Don't leave the house after dark. You hear? Hey, if you're trying to leave the city, they can't the tell I'm a beastman. Best. Once the beastmen transform, they lose their better judgment. The whole lot of them tend to get together and brawl amongst themselves until dawn. It's easier to sneak out of the city then. Good luck. Wait for night. Sleep at the inn until then. Just wish our guards weren't the ones causing trouble. Well, we don't get to... We don't get to... I don't know where I'm going with this. All I'm trying to say is... It's what's happening, Kevin. So we can't do anything about it. There's an evil jester from Devil May Cry 3 about trying to make people do his bidding. No charge. What do you mean you can't do business? They're what they know if I hand you like five money right now, five lucre. party members. I still want to fight the dude also. Nope. Not joining me yet, huh? Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Don't mind me. Just gonna casually walk out of the town. Try attacking enemies from behind when you find them. If your aim is true, you might get a critical hit for extra power. Hey, thanks, game. All right, the rabbit forest. I'm going to assume the E is silent. And I'd assume that's the dungeon where the demo would end after I get there. Well, it's nighttime, which is also better for me. So I'm glad the, ba <laughs> so I'm glad the game starts with so many situations in which it's always nighttime. 
doing me some favors. What's over here? Well, there's a beach. Is there anything else? Is there anyone on this beach? Can I fish here later? I mean, that's the re oh well. There's loot. It's the only important, only important thing here. That does not look like it would be good on your foot. And I can't. No, okay. Just wanted to make sure there. Were, like I was a hundred percent bound to the mini map, and it would appear that that would be the case. All right, all these enemies are still level one. How much a point in having it on hard? Oh, there's still a bad guy. Oh yeah, I didn't even see you. I gotta actually try to avoid getting hit. If you do within 10 seconds, I just realized that's within 10 seconds. Earlier in the video, I thought it was quickly, like 10 seconds from the previous one. Just means the whole fight lasted less than 10. I mean, there might be one for chaining them together. There's one definitely for not getting hit. That's without taking damage. Level 3. Gonna collect all the candies. There's so many items. Alright. Getting there slowly but surely. Dude, if this wasn't for a video, I'd totally grind up like a massive amount of levels right here. Just for the sake of doing it. Like, I'd be like, oh, eight! That only means, that means it's only 20 battles! <laughs> These battles are so quick! I'm gonna be the highest level possible. Yeah, I'm one of those. I'm one of those, I'll calculate out how many battles it takes. And how many I can kill, and I'll route it out, and all that. Especially with the EXP bonuses, like, that fight's really good, EXP-wise. Is there not anything back there? Any secrets you hiding? No. Maybe. Maybe later. It's like there's. It's like slightly discoverable. Let's see if there's an item up there though. Uh, okay, so down is the way to the actual stars. Let me go up first. Come on, that's the number one rule of RPGs. Oh, go down. Well, I'm going up. Something else over here. Ooh, fifty. I won't be excited about that later in the game, but I'm excited about it now. Alright, we got another item. Looks like that way leads to the cave. What does this way lead to, then? I mean, there's a mushroom. I'm trying to head to Cascade Town. There we go. At least we finally get some level 3s up in here. Loot? It's also good that the minimap marks open chests. It doesn't show them when they're not open. It only shows that you've actually opened one. But for completion's sake, like a map. Like an online map. Hopefully. Well, is there a way for me to access that? I haven't actually looked at any of this either. Organize your item ring. Do the items you have in the left hand. Okay. And then this is the number of items that are actually in the item ring. Okay, and then this allows me to separate them. Gear stats. We don't really have much in the way of gear at this point. We just have the leather glove weapon and the cotton attire. Um, and then we have abilities, but we don't really have any yet. We've got moves. We've only got one. We only got one class strike. That's the phenomenal fist we've been using. And we'll have multiple costumes, but that's the default. All right. Let me go into training. All right, training. I saw this in the trailer. Uh, to learn moves and increase your stats. So increase stats, increase your base HP, MP, strength, stamina, intellect, spirit, or luck. Abilities will be granted. Uh, will grant you special bonuses. Uh, abilities with the chain icon next to them are chain abilities. When equipped, these abilities will affect other party members. Okay. So they're like they're party wide passives. Like this one would be conflagration when I spend four points. Um, ward off defensive, intellect retain, payback, victory CS boost. Dude, I'm I am a sucker for anything that gives me more. Oh well, that's CS. That's not EXP. That's that's the class strike stuff. So I can get more class strikes. 
50% chance of not getting knocked back. Luck is always a good stat, but I have Hawkeye for that. I think we'll just throw some points in here for now. Yeah, that'll give us strength plus five. And then in one more, we'll have a little bit. I will say aerial combat isn't like super impressive or anything compared to the ground combat. The ground combat's super smooth. The air combat's like, it's there, kind of. There we go. Ooh, give me that fat money. Alright, see, the leveling off these things is pretty quick. So right outside the dungeon that they showed us in the opening would probably be the spot to go. Even just running along this path, I'll probably hit level 4 in a reasonable speed. I can also do this. You know, I probably don't have iframes during that. Oh, that's right, yeah, it's a 1% bonus to use a Clash Strike. Okay, I gotta be trying to use Clash Strikes whenever possible. What the heck is this thing? Question mark? I mean, it's obviously gonna be important later. There we go. Oh, you're not dead? Come on now. Yeah, I was over 22. Did not defeat them without taking damage, though. Who are you? What are you doing? No one believes, but I saw it. A strange light was floating over the lake. Maybe it'll appear tonight, too. Okay. Maybe it's mana? This dude's just chilling here. <laughs> like, that's it. I mean, this seems to be the real prize. Then it, That seems like more of a tease than anything else. For something that'll probably happen soon. That, obviously, we need more information about. All the people who played the original are like, actually, that's this. And I'm gonna be like, yeah, but I'll figure that out when I play it. I'll figure that out when I get there. I'm glad that there's like a slide kind of attack for like if I'm sprinting and I do an attack. Or even if I come out of a dodge. It's nice to have that extra little option, combat option. Ooh. There we go. Without taking damage. And wait, what the heck? Oh, I didn't even see that. Alright. Killed a bunch of enemies. Might as well do this real quick. Gratuitous autosaver. There is actually an autosave as well. Um, I haven't actually been looking for the icon. There's a little icon that flashes when it's auto-saving. Wait, what? Oh, I didn't even see you. Let me grab this while I'm at it. So there's uh, a town here, but that doesn't... That's not the direction. Can I still go that way? Huh. Okay. So I can just go a completely different way. He can go his own way. Lakeside Town Astoria. I mean, that's what the sign did say. I'd assume Astoria is how I even got here. Yeah, so this isn't my main location, but I can stop here and, like, look for items and stuff. There we go. Break any pots we can find. Probably treasure chests around here, too. This is the end room. It's also armor. I'd assume there's actual armor and weapons in the armor and weapons store this time. Are you kidding me? He's asleep? Is it because it's nighttime? Or she's just stamp You know what? I'm not even going to question it. There's no point. There's no point in questioning it. Oh, let me plant. Let me see what happens if I plant, like, four item seeds. Medi med okay, so it just does four items at once. Okay, that's super convenient. I thought for certain Angela was somehow going to be in another bed here. Uh, okay. Can I... Yep. I was going to say, there's. I could probably just, like, barely grab onto something here. What's this? 
phantasmal light will bring the destruction of the town. Well, that dude said he saw a light out by the lake, so that's not good. If I may say so myself. Dude's dancing again. Same items. Yeah, pretty much the same items as last time. At least he's having a good time. Alright, we got another pot. What's in here? It's an unmarked building. Items. Just gonna steal all. Oh, no, no, no. Grr. I don't know. Maybe because there's a jester manipulating them in order to attack their friends. Oh, you haven't heard about that? Yes, yeah, this new phenomenon. So if you see a jester, keep your freaking animals away from them. I'm still mad. Don't think I've gotten over the fact just because we've learned the truth about it. Don't think I've gotten over the fact that it happened still. And that literally the main reason we're going here is to try and bring Carl back to life. And as much as I want it to come true... I'm not uber confident in it. Alright, we'll look over here. Day-to-night cycle goes pretty quick. I'm not a super big fan of stopping the game to change day-night cycle. I saw that in the trailer and I was like, eh, at least it's quick. You know, it could be worse. It could be a lot worse. Q AVGN references to Castlevania. Yes, I know about them. I wonder if there's just a bunch of tutorials in here. In some of these houses. Alright, can't go in this one. Okay, we've wasted a lot of time in this town. And I still haven't been to the weapon shop. So let's go to the weapon shop. You don't have any weapons, do you? Okay, he actually does this time. Iron Knuckles. They are 110. I'm 100% buying those. I was, I was just about to say, I hope there's an Equip Now button. Equip Now button. You got that. You're in my good graces. Alright, let's make our way over here. I keep trying to jump with Circle on my PS4 controller. I'm, uh, that's a habit I'm going to have to break. Okay, let me go over here. Just got to pick up all the money on the ground. That money just paid for my new knuckles. Not the echidna. Alright, let's actually get back on our quest. It's going to be a pretty long video. I'm, I'm going to finish the whole demo in one video. And I am a habitual grab-everything-er. Oh, should have actually dodged that. I kept kind of hoping he'd get staggered by it. Alright, fortunately... Oh, it goes into this, like, 2D mode. I saw this in the preview. I wasn't sure exactly how it worked. It's not even 2D. It's, like, 2D, 3D. It's a fixed camera. Okay. Invisible force block in the way, huh? Can't get through. Now I have to go to... If... <laughs> If I had just done it in the opposite order, I would have saved so much time. See, sometimes that's the problem with exploring, is you're like, ah, oh, cool, game probably didn't predict I'd do this, and now it's like, man, you really should have just done what he told you to do. Hey, what's going on, man? Gonna spend the night here, I guess. Finding a way home is a problem. I mean, he might be right. Maybe the barrier goes away at night, and because I took so long, now I gotta wait. I don't think that's the case, but... Oh, how did I miss this last time? There's a whole, like, freaking area I didn't even go to. Another item seed. Can this be my house? Can I just have this? Doesn't look like anyone's using it. Maybe sh maybe the old woman's using it over here. Ah, she's not that old. Alright, she's pretty old. Yeah, head to the end. It looks like just sleep. Either it'll fix itself overnight, or we'll get a cutscene, or it just is a barrier that only dissipates at night. One of these things is going to be true. Well, at least it gives me an excuse to use these two item seeds. 
Assassin Poseidon Claw? Is that a... Did I just buy claws that I then immediately get to replace? Is that what you're telling me I just did? No, okay, Poseidon Claws are something else entirely. Well, what are they? Poseidon Claw? It's just a, a magic item? Imbues allies weapon with water elemental damage, okay. Oh, wow. Well, my ring menu's almost full, but it's not full just yet. It just doesn't have the Poseidon Claw, which I'm actually gonna leave. I, I'd rather know something's weak to water before doing that. Uh, rest until evening. You know, I just realized I didn't actually check to see if the quest told me to rest till evening. I just assumed. Oh, well, it looks like I would have assumed correctly. That's the light over the lake. Is it the fairy from the trailer? It's probably the fairy from the trailer. It's aliens! A light. We must chase the strange light. What? It'll probably let us into the cave. Flying light. What was it? Never seen Well, if you've never seen anything like it, then we have to chase it into the wilderness, obviously. It's going to show it going over to the cave. Oh, no, it's going the opposite direction. Come on. Oh, you know what? That whole area I went through before, where I said, oh, this is probably just for, like, you know, whatever reason. No, it was it was for this. Hey, level four. That means we can train and get that new skill. Let's do that now, before I forget. Conflagration. Uh, dealt damage increase. Oh, okay, so when I'm low on HP, I'm not really. A f I'm never a fan of low on HP strats. I'm no red tear stone ring kind of guy. Certainly not my uh, my forte. Oh, that's good. I'm glad the the light is waiting for me. It's like, oh, hold on, hold on, he's in a fight. We can continue later. I mean, the pot's back. I gotta break the pot. I can't just not break it. Especially because it has class, class points in it. No, it fell. Fairy. I mean, I can't just skip a battle. Hello, fairy. I knew it. I knew it. You alive? This is where she goes, you can see me. Uh, I, I'm all right. Oh. Who, who are you? I am Kevin <laughs> from Ferolia. Saw the light. I know I have to deal with him being Kevin the whole game, uh, but it's going to be funny to me every time. Option. So I suppose you'll do. Hold on. What? Oh, never mind. I'll tell you later. Please, I need you to take me to the Priest of Light and Wendell. I can't fly any further on my own. Sure. Fine by me. Going to Wendell too. But Cascade Cavern can't get through right now. I can get us through the barrier, but we need to hurry. Something has happened to the Sanctuary of Mana. 
the sanctuary of mana. Wait. Whoa, my controller shaking there actually scared me. Ah. What happened? Was it Astoria? Gotta go back. Oh, we need to get going. Let me rest inside you for a bit. Excuse me? You won't see me, but don't worry, I'm still here. Oh, oh. wait, wait. What? Don't delay. We must see to Astoria. Ah, she's in my head? Ah. Hurry. Yeah, anyway, we don't have a we don't have a choice in the matter, man. On it. <laughs> you take fairy with you. So, why are you heading to Wendell? Priest of Light can save Carl. Bring him back. Oh, I see you haven't had an easy time yourself. Sure haven't. I'm amazed she didn't just realize I wanted to bring someone back to life there and be like, yeah, I don't think it works that way, buddy. I, I'm pretty sure it doesn't just work that way. I'm saying it because I don't think we're getting Carl back. I, I don't have faith in anything that that man said. He was a jester. Jesters are bad. Gratuitous saving. Chapter one, Rabbit Forest. Come on. What's this? Oh, okay. I was trying to figure out that was a, that's an item hotkey, other than the item ring. Okay, I gotta keep that in mind then, because I should be killing enemies with- Oh my goodness! I was sleeping there. What happened? Where are the humans? They're dead. This looks like the work of beastmen. Cowards! There is no time to waste. We have to get to the Priest of Light as soon as possible. Oh, Wendell is in danger. I agree. That being said, would it be bad of me to... Oh, I didn't even realize I was trying to pick up an... Well, that was actually what I was wondering. I was wondering if there were more items, like, strewn about. Um, that's fire, not an item. Uh, there are, actually. I don't know if that's... I think these are the same item locations that I did. I wonder if it just respawned... Oh, no, that's a... Tra How did I miss that last time? No, that had to have not been there last time. I refuse to accept that that item was there last time. It's like, I explored this place. Now you're making me re-explore it. Just gotta make sure. Because there's gonna be, like, there's gonna be some, like, god-tier item. Like, in the early game that I'm gonna walk past and someone's gonna be like, Bro! How did you miss that? I'm gonna be like, eyes, man. I don't have them. You think I may think I made it this far? You think I did this for this many years with eyes? Come on now. I like how I still didn't even grab everything. You know, I think the majority of this is just like chump change that dead humans have dropped. Listen, I may sound ungrateful for the random bits of money, and I am, but that's besides the point. I just want to know who put these treasure chests here since the last time I was here. A hundred? Sweet. Never mind. Whoever... Oh, I see another one. That one almost snuck by me. See, that would have been the one. That would have been the one. Someone would be like, dude, there was a treasure chest behind that house. Could you miss that? I'm gonna be like eyes, man. Alright, I think we're good. I think I bought that weapon. Okay. Well, if there are any more items, I'm sorry, but I'm leaving. Oh, good. The stone's tipped over. That looks like a nose.
We're just gonna go straight there. I've already delayed this video so much, just running around, killing stuff. And going. See, I'm kind of glad I went to the place out. Oh, hey, Reese. Join me, Reese. Uh, pardon me, but I believe there is a barrier blocking the cavern route to Holy City Windle. I do not suppose you know a way around it? Oh, actually... A fairy can get through the barrier. Oh, my. I believe I saw fairy's light in the forest last night. But I was unable to investigate because of the beastmen in the area. Would you mind terribly if I were to accompany you? In truth? Hey guys, I'm going to be honest, I did not think this demo was going to take this long. Uh, there's still about another hour left after this, so I'm going to split this up into two separate videos and release them on two separate days and get back to working on some other videos for the channel. But uh, hopefully you enjoyed this part. Stay tuned for part two tomorrow, and I'll see you guys in that one. Until then, take care.